in this video i'm going to show you how to create photo gallery theme in wordpress so this is the html now you can see these are the categories you'll get the source code in the description fine now it has this as a photo post the time the category the author and the image is also available along with the photo if we click on the post you can see on the sidebar there is category and there is search field the post title the post author time and categories and the post content and this is the html you can see it's index.html and i have converted it into wordpress and everything is dynamic right now so this is a home page these are the titles of a post and if you wish to search the title you can see the result so i have converted I have created this WordPress theme from scratch and you will learn many things in this video and now you can see its admin the time and uh, the category and if you and if you wish to click on the category it will show you the individual category post now let's click on another category which is uncategorized the two post is available on uncategorized category likewise if you click on the sidebar it is also available fine the animal has one post the art category has one post and the nature category has one post office category has one post and finally and category has two post fine if you click on the individual post you can see there is image and then the admin did the time and the author sorry category and that category again has a link if you click it will get into the category pages and you can see the comment section if you insert comment it will be available I have not designed much the focus of this video is just to focus on the WordPress custom functions and if you click on back you will be redirect to the home page and this is a two, two page website and here we are going to see how to create post format you are seeing now these individual posts are simply the post formats and then we are going to modify the wordpress folder wordpress folder which is wp underscore includes and in the in that folder we have a file called categories and we will modify the file just to add the class list group fine the very first thing we are going to install the wordpress which is the latest one 5.5.1 i have installed it and it's in my hdocs folder and now uh, I'm going to new, give the name of the folder as WordPress underscore photo gallery. So this is your project name right now. So to install WordPress, I need a database. So I'm creating a database with the same with the same name as the project name. Your WordPress folder should be inside the HTTP docs. fine now you can access your project now it is asking which language it is asking it will ask you for the database name and the username is root for my for my XAMPP and the password is nothing click on submit and then run the installation and you need to set your title of the website I'm going to give it as photo gallery by my channel name along with the username credential so that we can log in for the next time on the dashboard i have created the username and password as admin admin so now it is asking for the login with the credential which i have created just now so now it is allowing me to log in fine the next thing we are going to see the themes 
the themes is available on the appearance so if you click by default uh, there are three themes these are the three themes so I'm going to delete these default three themes and I'm going to create my theme from scratch so to create it it says error because we have deleted it so let me create a theme uh, on my name so inside this folder so before that let me open it on my visual studio code we need to create some set of files so that our theme will up, will be appeared on the wordpress dashboard so we need minimum three files which is on the theme folder we need index.php and on the theme folder we need stylesheet.css uh, it is not stylesheet it is style.css sorry for that let me delete it style.css and the third one is simply the screenshot the screenshot should be with the name called screenshot and it should be in the format called png so i have the screenshot folder stream screenshot on my desktop so let me paste it on my theme folder wp content themes and my theme name and inside the theme name we need to paste the screenshot.png now this is not enough we need to create a comment on the style.css which should be theme name uh, basically the details about the theme we need to pass theme name and then the author of the theme so these details will be available on the theme details which I'll show you in a minute so the description of the theme about the theme and the version of the theme so these things are minimum required to see the theme so to see the created theme on the dashboard so now the screenshot is also available and the comment which you have written on the style sheet is also available as the theme details fine let me activate our theme so if we get into the dashboard the first thing that is going to load is it is the index.php which we have created to show you I'm just writing some words although I'm loading from index so if you get into the index page this is the text which will be available because the index page is loading so the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the static HTML and I'm going to copy paste all the thing which is in the index.html to the index.php and let me copy paste the style sheet fine now if you see get into the source code you will see the bootstrap is available as a CDN and the font awesome is available as a CDN along with that we have style.css file so we have not included the style.css file instead we have our own style.css which we have created in the form of comment to link that what we need to do is we need to create a function uh, we have already a function for for the wordpress and in writing on the index.php index.html we should write on the index.php so we have a function called blog info inside the blog info we need to pass a parameter called stylesheet underscore url so that will default call the style.css file which is in the theme folder so now if you see if i refresh it the style.css file is in the path so now if you click it is accessible now fine the next thing we are going to make the title dynamic to make the title dynamic you have to get into the dashboard uh, on the general you will see the site title if you wish to modify you can modify and this is a description or you can see the tag name tagline we are just we are just going to use the site title now if you see it is simply the document and now we are going to make it dynamic with the same function blog info we need to pass the name 
and in place of photo gallery again if you refresh the title will be dynamic now now the next thing we are going to create uh, two files which is header footer and the third file will be sidebar i will be creating in a minute the header.php will hold all the header files header details or header html and then footer.php will hold the footer div to call the header.php we will be we have a function called get header the same way uh, we will copy the footer section and paste it on the footer.php which I have already created it and now to access it we would be calling the same function which is get footer now if you see we have a sidebar the sidebar is also common so what we do is we cut the sidebar section and paste it into a new file like sidebar.php and to leave a comment so that we can call the like get header get footer we will have another function for calling the sidebar.php file and we'll paste the sidebar content on the sidebar.php and to access it we have a function called get template part and inside the get template part we need to file the name we need to pass the name of the file which is sidebar get template part and inside that we need to pass the name of the file so if you refresh it does not get template parts it is get template part fine I have removed the S now that is working your header is dynamic the footer is dynamic and your sidebar is dynamic now we need to make available a feature image if, you, if I create a before creating we need to add a uh, two more function on header and footer the first function is WP head I'm going to park call it on the head section it's a PHP function so we need to paste the function inside the PHP WP underscore header and now for the footer we need WP underscore footer so if you refresh you should see the strap above the WordPress top bar it is not available let me see what is the problem here you can see it is get footer not get header on the index.php now you can see the top bar will be available fine it is because of the wp footer if i remove it you will not see the top bar and if i add you can see the top bar fine it is a now you know what is the what, what makes the top bar available it is simply the wp footer the next thing i'm going to create some post format to create post format what we need to do is we need to create some post so let me create a post so let me make it full screen now the title is photo and I need some text which is lorem ipsum I'm typing lorem and then the 25 which means I need 25 words And if you see on the sidebar there is no option for uploading image so to make it available what we need to do is we need to create a file which is called function.php and that function inside that fun inside that function I need to create a function that will call that will make the theme support which is post thumbnail we don't need this for now let me comment it so add theme support I am passing post thumbnail and I am giving the height and width for the post thumbnail so if I refresh or uh, let me make a duplicate of it 
uh, once it is reloaded you will see on the sidebar you will see the featured image now you will be able to upload the image it is because I have modified the function.php now let me add the featured image let me create some let me call some set of images so i don't have to upload again and again likewise let me create some more post or let me create category as well so that we can add them on the sidebar nature and then art and then abstract then animal finally professional or you can see office fine as I said like I have created first post likewise I'm going to create some set of post again so on the all post you can see the list of post available uh, right now we have three post which is the one the first one is default which is hello world and the second one is draft which we have made a duplicate let me delete both the default and the draft post and now I'm going to pause it and I'm going to create some more post and before that before having post I would like to add the I would add, like to add some content on the excerpt I'll show you in a minute what excerpt means is fine I have added some posters we have six posts in total now what I'm going to do is I want to make uh, available the post on the index.php and uh, on the index.php I would like to show the post in such a format which is gallery format that's why in the function.php I have added gallery so the post design or you can see the post format will be in this file which is content hyphen gallery dot php content is a prefix so now if you view the post after adding the functions dot php that is the post format function dot php which is this one you will be able to select the post format on the post for format section uh, let me choose gallery for all the created post the reason for this is I want to show the post in such a format and that format will be available on the content hyphen post content hyphen gallery dot php now before that I would like to show all the post on the index page in a dynamic way now this one is static which I have copy pasted from the HTML which is some set of column is getting repeated again and again so to make it dynamic I will just have one div and that div I will paste it on a loop and that loop will run until there is post fine this is the one I have selected a certain section is getting repeated so this is a section is getting repeated let me comment it and for now let me show you how the while loop looks like ignore the format for now we will be formatting it on the content hyphen gallery.php I want just to show you how does a uh, post looks like I think we have missed a one div and we have fixed it fine now so this is a section which will be on the loop so just inside the loop we need to pass the column in the HTML format
if you refresh you should see uh, there's a problem with the div let me see what it is and uh, now it is available fine now it is now if you see there are six posts so the static HTML editing is uh, available six times so what if I need dynamic so for that I will be passing a function called the title and if you remember we have filled the excerpt section you can see all the titles are dynamic uh, if you remember we have filled the excerpt section that's like for that excerpt section can be accessible using the function the excerpt fine as I said this is just uh, to show you I want this thing to be uh, in a format way so for that format I have created a file which I'm calling it with get template part content and the get post types so this get post type function will be called dynamically by the WordPress because we have selected on the sidebar as gallery now I think I have missed some div let me see what it is fine now I would like to make the content dynamic to have to call the title we have a function the title and as I have already discussed the excerpt and to get the author we have a function called the, the author and to call the time we have a function called the time now if I refresh the post format is dynamic now so the admin and the category are not the links we have to make it links and before that let me make the image let me show you the image once I click on the image I need to show the full details of the block so for that we have a function called the permalink so if you click on it it will show the full block so let's have let me show you the image to show the image we have a function called has post thumbnail and inside the has post thumbnail uh, if it has post thumbnail then display the image tag the image tag will be coming from dynamically from the function called the post thumbnail the post thumbnail will simply X, uh, we simply give the image tag uh, I have missed the spelling it's thumbnail the post thumbnail now if you refresh you should see the images dynamic one fine that is working now let us make the anchor tag for the author and once I click on the anchor tag it should get all the list of authors so for that we have a function in WordPress let me paste that function so this is a function once I click on it you will get the author related post now let's create the dynamic let me let me create the category just like we need to call some set of predefined function in WordPress if you refresh uh, 
your category is now dynamic if you click on direct category and you will see the category related post fine now if I click on the logo it is not going anywhere so for that let me make it dynamic uh, we to make it dynamic we have a function called home URL don't forget to echo or else it won't work fine now if I click on the logo it is getting it is redirecting me to the home page and our category is also working now let's work on the individual post to work on the individual post if I click on the individual post you can see a certain page is loading up so for that let me create a file called single.php and let me type some content hello uh, I will be shown when individual post is clicked so if you click on an individual post a certain page is going to get loaded up so that page is single.php so whatever format you need I have to paste it on the single.php so I have already a format for in the HTML template so just to show you I'm just copying and pasting the same thing which is on the index file we don't need the while loop because it is just a single post which is going to show up once you click on it so whatever is there inside column 12 which is from the static file I'm going to paste it so now if you see we don't need the while loop as I said now if you refresh uh, the content is static for now we will make it dynamic in a minute the single PHP is working so as I said the title is a function to get the dynamic title And, uh, the same uh, function for image and the same section for the author time and uh, categories and to get the content we have a function called the content here I'm not going to use the excerpt function I'm going to use the content to display the text area content fine that is working now if you see the author is missing created by author is missing let me see why so we need to pass uh, in place of ID we need to pass something some other function uh, with property and value So now if I try again it is not showing up I need I, I think I need to remove the the author function and replace it with uh, another function let me do it and I believe now it should show up fine now you can see these are links and if you click on the category it will show you the category related and if you click on admin it is showing it is it will show you the admin related stuff let's try 
and now to change the text color you need to just add a simple class which is text white on the anchor tag so let me do it on author as well as on category now the author and category let me add for the category as well yeah it's here now if I refresh that is working everything seems to be working fine now we need to add a button called back and that will leave you to the home page previously we have added a function called home URL uh, here we would be adding another function called site URL I want it to be an anchor tag not the button site url is a function we are going to call it will leave you to the home page if you click on go back it will go to the home page fine that's working uh, let's add the comment section so just below the comment the contents function we need to call another function which is comments template comments hyphen template if you wish to give the CSS style you can do it I'm not doing it so let me give some comment I'm logged in as admin so the admin says the comment which I have passed fine uh, let's work on the sidebar so uh, the sidebar section will be on the widget to, to add the widget we need to get into the dashboard and on the appearance we should see the widget at present we didn't we don't see any widget so for that we need to add a function on the function.php just like we did on the post thumbnail mm, semicolon and again we could not see it is because we need to add the action which is widgets hyphen in it which it is a hook now you can see the widget is available if you click on widget the name sidebar will show up you can see the name is name has shown up let me add the side category let me give the title and uh, once it is done we need to have a function on the sidebar content let me comment it this is coming this will be coming dynamic so we need to have a function and that function will accept the id is active sidebar and dynamic sidebar this will be the id which we have passed fine now if you see it would be dynamic as I said I would be modifying the WP includes file so let's do that get into your folder and on the WordPress folder uh, on the theme we need to create a file folder called widgets so WP includes inside that we have a folder called widgets inside the widgets we have a file called and it, I will copy it and paste it over my widgets folder on the theme and now let me open it we need to change the name of the file as well as the name of the class inside it so let me change the name of the class and we need to create another function that will call the class
and now inside the ul i would just simply modify or i, I would like to add a class called list group so now at present let me show you what the ul has at present the ul is blank so i want the ul should have a class called list group so if i save and refresh uh, there is an error let me see why it says it is not found because we have not included this class on the functions.php we need to use a function called require once let me rename the file name as well with the class name it says it could not find the class because we have not used a require once on the functions.php on the top require once call the class and now it should work so if I reload you will see the ul will have the class list group fine now you might have understood how the category is getting called from wp includes so let's style our list group as like the bootstrap fine if I refresh now our sidebar is also dynamic and it is filterable we click on abstract abstract category post will show up and uh, the sidebar is also dynamic now the last thing what we need is we need to make the search section it is really very simple we have to get into the sidebar.php file which has the search section and we have one input field and one button so we need to surround it inside a form and the action for the form is simply the home URL and on the input field input type button we need to add name with value s and now that would work now if we search for the photo 5 or any other photo or the title of the post it will be filtered that's working now you can see a category a category is also working uh, now I'll, I would like to remove the available category so get into the file the class just remove the title so this is a section that is displaying the title on the sidebar let me remove it Thing I'm in the wrong file I guess we have to get into our created class file not on the WP includes yeah it has it is now been commented now you cannot see that uh, that's all for this video get the source from the description thank you so much for listening